I guess the best place to start, another postponed game on, on Tuesday. It's been uh, so many, especially against Dover, it feels like. How frustrating is it as a player to, to on a match day, get ready and then have it taken away from you? Yeah, no, it's it's tough. It's Obviously, it's happened to us a few times already. Um, but we're there to do a job. Uh, the first thing is we don't think we go there as if the game's not going to be called off and ready to do a job. Um, it's tough when you sat there waiting around think, hearing it could be, it could be not but like I say we turn up to do a job and prepare for that and uh, obviously it's a shame, it's not great for the fans as well but uh, full focus on Saturday now and we've got to move on from that and concentrate on other games and this, the next game Yeah, unless the wind doesn't come on, on Saturday and, and uh, postpone things there but you know, thinking about it, with, with Covid and with waterlogged pitches there's been so many things for, for games being off has this season and maybe last season been really tough as a footballer because of the, the changing circumstances? Yeah, it's been really tough. I mean, it takes toll. Um, it's and for, The frustrating thing for me is, and as a team, we haven't been had that consistency to be able to play the games. I mean, before the other game, we was on a good run sort of thing and then we got held back with games called off. But it's going to be the same for other teams as well. I mean, like you say, we, just, we, we prepare for the game and... If it happens, it happens. We can't do anything about it as players. Um, but yeah, we just got to fo full focus on the next game and uh, make the most of that. You talk about that, you know, which kind of brings me on to momentum. How, how much is that? You've struggled for that momentum, I guess, because of the stop-start nature of the season. But but how much can momentum play a part in, in getting a side on a run, especially a side like yourselves? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, if you winning game by game everyone enjoying the football, playing really well, the club being a good place as a whole, it's massive. And when that's sort of taken away from you um, and you're in and out and uh, as a player, you want to just play games and you thrive off that winning environment. And like I say, when it's get taken away from you, yeah, there's no game, you miss a game. It's hard to take. And uh, But like I say, what we can't do anything as players, it's out of our hands. Uh, we just focus and prepare as a club uh, ready for the next game and just take it game by game. What have you thought to the, the season so far in general? You, you're just outside the playoffs, aren't you? You're, you're right on the cusp at the moment. You know, if you were to give an overview of, of, you know, are you about where you should be? Are you underachieving? What, you know, what, what are your thoughts? But to, to be fair, at the minute, if you look at the table, it, it's a bit false for me. I mean, uh, we're not looking too much into that. Um, it's good. I've heard a lot of people saying, not really mentioning Notts County much, which for me as a player and to be part of the club, I think it's good that we're seen as underdogs. I mean, yeah, we're a bit like we're out of the playoffs at the minute, but we've got games in hand to play. Uh, but like I said, to be honest, as a as a, a play, the players and the staff, we ain't, we're not worrying too much about the league table. We're just focusing on game by game. And come the final push at the end of the season, that's when we want to start worrying about what, what's what and where's uh, where we're at. But uh, no, I think we're in a good place. Like I say, we're under the radar at the minute, so we don't mind that at all. That's an interesting point you made because you know, do you think it's a little bit different when from when you first joined the club? Because obviously, in the initial time, it was like my word, this is Notts County, a football league club in the national league. Do you think that kind of pressure maybe is not as immense as it was? From, from a few years ago? No, I still think they feel the pressure. I do, especially when I go out there because this football club, the size of the football club, we're expected to win games, whether it's home or away. Uh, I think the boys thrive off that pressure, to be honest, playing for the football club, knowing we, we need to get results. Uh, but look at the teams in the league now that are really pushing, especially with some teams uh, financially going for it. Uh, you've got your Stockports, Grimsby's, Wrexham's, there's some big clubs, Chesterfield. Um, so it's not not an easy league as we know. Uh, but yeah, like I say, we're just taking it game by game. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Do you think the squad's maybe better set up this year though to to make that promotion? You came so close obviously two years in a row, but do you think the squad is maybe better set up and, and maybe you know can, can learn on what it did over the past two seasons? Yeah, I think we've got we've had that experience. Um, there's players still in the team that have been there. Uh, myself, obviously, been there the last few years, and we've come we've just come short. Uh, but it's a young it is a young squad. I think people forget that. I think the majority of players are under 
26 and then there's a few older ones that are just over 30 but it is a good mix and uh, yeah I think because all the players are learning every day and we've got a great manager uh, and Doyle is a massive part of that obviously he's been there done it all before in different leagues so uh, no we just we're just uh, as a as a young side we're still learning um, but there's a lot of points we're taking on board and uh, I think the players believe we can do it and uh, we're going to give it every shot we can. You touched earlier about so much going on, but one thing that strikes me is, is your contract, which is coming up for renewal at the end of the season. Is that something you would like to get tied up sooner rather than later, or are you happy to let those negotiations you know, wait for a while yet? Uh, to be honest, I've not thought about it too much, not focused on that, I've just focused on the football. Uh, I mean, if you're scoring goals and winning games as a team, that sort of does the talking, but... As I said before, I'm happy here. I'm happy doing my job for the football club, and uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just hoping we can get that promotion, and then we'll see what happens. Just push you a little bit on that. You say you're happy here, so as things stand, you would like to stay at Notts County. I'm like I say, I'm under contract. I'm here doing a job. Who knows what anything can happen in football, as you've seen before. But as I said, I'm happy, I'm focused on doing the job for the team, and I'll keep doing that until however long.